For generations, storekeepers have been making change by taking bills and coins out of the cash register drawer. Now many experts say changing technology is nickel and diming old-fashioned cash out of existence. So is paper money a relic of a bygone era? Our cover story is reported by Lee Cowan. It's what the wallet was invented for, to carry cash. After all, there was a time when we needed cash everywhere we went. From filling stations to pay phones, even the tooth fairy dealt only in cash. But money isn't just physical anymore. It's not only the pennies in your piggy bank or that raggedy dollar bill. Money is also digital. It's zeros and ones stored in a computer, prompting some economists to predict the old-fashioned greenback may soon be a goner. There will be a time. I don't know when, I can't give you the date, when physical money is just going to cease to exist. Economists like Robert Reich say the demise of cash has been happening ever since our financial fortunes could first be told by a piece of plastic with a magnetic strip. That was half a century ago. And now? 95% of the transactions in America or more are now have nothing to do with physical pieces of paper or coins. Think about it. Taxis, parking meters, tolls, even Girl Scout cookies. Did you know we do debit card now? Don't require cash anymore. All proof argue some that cash's days are numbered. 22 and for 32 years from now, will cash still be here? I think we could put it in the grave already. Author David Woolman, in his book The End of Money, argues the biggest knock against cash is that it's costly. It's really expensive to move it, store it, secure it, inspect it, shred it, redesign it, resupply it, and, and around and around we go. It already cost the U.S. government almost twice as much to make a penny and a nickel as they're actually worth. But that's only one cost. Cash, Woolman says, is also the currency of crime, bankrupt drug deals, bribes, and there's something else. It's just not particularly clean. It's gross. I'm with you. I'm right there with you. It's, uh, it's pretty gross. The filth factor alone, he says, should make cash a no-no in food establishments, like his neighborhood ice cream shop, Salt and Straw, in Portland, Oregon. So that is one pint. It's $8. Okay. It Owner like Kim Malik isn't about to turn cash down. Not yet, anyway. But she's happier when people pay with their smartphones instead. Mix paying fun, <laughs> which you don't hear very often. <laughs> She's using a new app called Pay With Square, essentially a digital wallet that's now accepted at some 75,000 locations nationwide, from ice cream shops to barber shops. All you do is register and you create a virtual tab right on your phone. So when it comes time to pay, you don't pull out your wallet or your credit card. You don't even have to pull out the phone. Instead, a photo pops up on the register, and the money is seamlessly deducted from an account of your choosing. It's going to recognize you before we even walk in. Jared Fleisler uses Pay with Square all the time. He works for Square, the company that first turned your smartphone or your tablet into a credit card reader. But all this easy money flying through the cloud has some little leery about security. But Fleisler says the protections built into the system are actually far better than cash. All the receipts are sent digitally to you, directly in your app. You don't really have to worry about signing, and they can verify you by face and by name on the screen, so you don't have to worry about your ID. And it's not just Square. Everyone from Apple to Google to Visa, even most major banks, are looking to change the way we spend. PayPal, for one, believes its digital wallet technology can be the future of shopping. No wallet, no cash, just a mobile device with an app that combines all your credit and checking accounts along with coupons and other offers. The real innovators in this area have to prove to us that this is really life-changing and that it's not just kind of cool to pay for something with your mobile phone. Lost in all this, of course, are the poor, with no access to smartphones or fancy tablets. And there are those who depend on cash. Waiters, parking valets, sky caps, and babysitters, none of whom is anxious to see cash Thank you very much. <laughs> disappear. Do we lose a little of the nostalgia of having a actual money in our wallet and coins in our pockets? Uh, 
we do lose something when it's all digital. Uh, it's, uh, it's a loss of a lot of icons, a lot of symbols about who we are, how we're doing, and what we value things for. You just put on Jared? But that mobile money train has already left the station. Most agree cashless is not only inevitable, for most of us, it's already here.